Hello, my name is Sharon Kelly and welcome to my channel Super Aging. Today we are going to be focusing on inner thighs, abdominals and triceps. You won't need any equipment at all. I've got some weights here and if you've got some grab them because I'm going to use them for assistance. So for my wrists and also to help keep my feet on the floor when we do our roll ups. Are you ready? Let's do this. Sitting up nice and tall, grab hold of your shins, breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, just round your back, holding on to your legs. Let's do two more, breathing in and out. Feet are pressing evenly into the floor. Last one. I'm not going to use the weights just yet because I want you to feel the difference with the weights, but we will use them in a minute if you've got them. Let's go into our roll-ups. Roll Bring your arms out in front. Breathe in as we breathe out. We round our spine, slowly lowering ourselves to the floor. Bring your arms above your head. Breathe in. As we breathe out, we come back up. Let's do four more. If you need to help yourself get up, just grab your legs, contract your abs, and bring yourself back up. Three more. Tighten your belly. Two to go. How are you going? Last one. If you were struggling to keep your feet on the floor and they kept lifting up, this is where the weights I find are quite helpful because you can just place the weights on your toes. So let's try five. What you want to watch though is you don't kick the weights off. Breathe in and lower yourself nice and slowly. Breathing out, coming up. If you want to make this a little bit harder, keep your arms high. And let's do three more. Are the weights helping? You could always tuck them under a couch or something, your feet under a couch. Let's do one more, just because it's good to work our abdominals. And coming up. The next part of this is we're just going to add a little bit more intensity and really focus on engaging our core. If the weights help, leave them there. If they're just in your way, kick them away. It's up to you. We're going to roll down. I want you to go about halfway and we're going to breathe out three times. You're going to pull the tummy in, navel to spine and then you roll all the way down slowly. Let's try that again. We roll halfway down. We go slow, 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 controlling the roll down with our abdominals. You've got four more. Slow, breathe out for three, two, one. Every time you do those breaths out, navel to spine. Okay, guys, you've got two more. Come on, breathe out. And last one.
and rolling yourself back up. And let's just finish where we started. Just do those just small articulate. We're just doing small movements, rounding our back. We're rounding our back to articulate our spine. It's been a day. Round your spine, feel your vertebrae open up. Draw the abdominals in. Sitting up, it's like a little cat cow, it's just that we're doing it seated. The last one. Oh, use your legs, pull yourself away from your legs. Use your arms, pull yourself away from your legs. Let's keep going. You can do this with your hands down on the mat. I'm going to use the weights because it just keeps my wrists in a better position and I don't normally get a lot of wrist issues. I just find it a bit easier doing it this way on my wrists. So we're going to work on triceps. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll leave the tailbone on the floor for the first set. All we're doing is we're bending the elbows and we push our hands either into the weights or the floor, stretch your arms. So you're squeezing the tops of your arms. Bend your elbows. Keep the chest lifted. The work is when we straighten our arms. Let's do, say, three more. Stretch your arms. Two more. And one. Well done. Just let your wrist go. We're going to add on. Bend the elbows. Stretch our arms. Now we're going to do a tiny little elbow bend. Stretch your arms, then bend your elbows. Stretch your arms straight, tiny bend of the elbows. Straighten your arms, lower yourself. Keeping your back straight, tiny little bend, stretch your arms straight. Three more sets. And two. Are you feeling your triceps? And a last one. Just a little release. And moving on, we're just going to do those little pulse movements. You either hand here or use the weights, it's up to you. So we're going to stay up, oh, sorry, we're going to stretch our arms, little bend, big stretch, tiny bend to the elbows, big stretch. You're hardly seeing any movement, but you should be feeling your triceps. Let's go for four, three, two, one. We'll stretch our triceps and we're going to add on. Bring your arm back behind your head. Or, if that's not good for your shoulder, just bring your arm across, across your body. Other side, bring your arm back behind your head, sitting tall, or across your body. So we're going to intensify the work. Pretty much going to do what we just did. Instead of the tailbone being on the floor, we're going to have the tailbone just off the floor, which will make our arms work a lot harder. I might not use the weights for Hands on the floor, bring your feet close to your hips, lift your chest. So the first thing we're going to do is lift the tailbone up, bend the elbows, stretch the arms, bend and stretch. Good, let's go for four, three, two, one. Quick rest, let your wrists go just in case you're feeling any tension or jarring in them. Now we're going to add that little pulse at the top when we straighten our arms. Bring your hands back down. 
lift the chest, lift the tailbone. We bend our elbows, we stretch our arms, a tiny bend, we lift up. Bend the elbows, stretch, tiny bend and straighten. Let's go for three and two and one. Whoa, how are we going? Feeling a bit of fire in your triceps? Just move your wrists around. Just the pulses next, just so I know that you're feeling your tricep muscles. Bring your uh, hands back behind you. Does it feel good? I'm going to assume you said yes. Lift the tailbone up. All right, tiny bend, big stretch. Tiny bend, big stretch. This is good. I can feel my triceps. Can you feel yours? Five, four, three, two, one. We're done with triceps. Just move your wrists around. Let's go back into our tricep stretch. Bring either your arm across your body or over your head. Breathe in. Let the tension go in your arms, in your tricep muscles. And other side. And bring your arms down. Now, you can still use your weights as to support your wrists. What we're doing now is going to start some inner thigh work. Some really good inner thigh work. What I'd like you to do is just lean back so your ears, shoulders and hips are in one long line. Abdominals are engaged. We're going to rotate the leg. The inner thigh part of our leg is facing the ceiling. If we had our leg this way, we'd work more the quad, but we, I want you to work your inner thigh today. Keep your ankle flexed. Toes are drawing towards you. We're working on 12 reps just in case I muck up the reps. <laughs> You're gonna lift the leg up for 12, 11, 10, pushing the foot away, eight, seven, little toe towards the floor, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Let's go straight into the other side. So I really hope you felt that more to the inside of your leg. Same thing, turn the leg out, and let's lift up for 12. Keep pushing the foot away as you lift the leg. Tighten your tummy. Let's go for eight, seven, lift high. Four, three, keep your legs straight. One, good job. Let's go back to our first side because we're gonna add on. Bring it out to the side, little toe to the floor. The ankle remains flexed, toes still facing you. We're doing 12 reps. We're going to lift the leg up, little bend to the knees, stretch the leg, push the foot away, lower. Lift, bend, stretch, lower. Show me 10 and nine. Tell me you're not having fun. Seven and six, five. Keep the chest high, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to the other side. Bring the leg out. Oh, okay, let's do this. Lift the leg up, tiny bend, big stretch. Lift up, tiny bend, big stretch. Lift high. Keep your abdominals tight. Let's go for, I think, seven. And six. Push your foot away, four, three, two, and one. It's so good, isn't it? Coming back to the first side. So just watch, because we're feeling a lot of tension in our inner thighs, and it's a bit of work lifting the leg up, we start to get slack with our posture. So I really want you to work on keeping your back straight. This time we're pointing the toe. Yes. We're going to lift the leg up as high as we can. Do little pulses up. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Stretch the leg away from you. And one. Let's try that on the other side. <laughs> Reset your posture. It's very easy. I'm doing it too to get slack with your back. Lift it up. Little pulses. Keep the legs straight. 10, 9, 8. Higher, higher. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's finish strong. <laughs> we do want to finish strong. We're turning the leg out from our hip. And let's have a go at some circles. Let's work on five each way. Lift the leg up. Tie, not big circles. Circling. Keep your leg long. Two more. And one. Let's reverse. Inner thigh is facing the ceiling. You've got three. Can we lift higher? And one. Last side. Last set. Best set. Abdominals are engaged. Our backs are straight. Let's circle for five and four, three, two, one. Let's reverse for five. Stretch your leg long. Two more and one. <laughs> nice work. Let's just release our inner thighs because there's a little bit more work to go with them today. Back is straight, I, and if you need to bend your knees to keep your back straight, that's what you do. If you can push your legs down towards the floor and keep your back straight, do that. Lower the chest towards the floor, breathe in and lengthen your spine so your tailbone pushes back behind you, your head goes forward, lift the chest, lower the chest. From this position, just be very careful of around that back of your knee joints. And all we're gonna do is go side to side, wiggle your toes, keep your back straight. We will do a bit more stretching in our inner thighs after the next exercise. We're going into bridge. Oh, I know, you're probably thinking, what has this got to do with inner thighs? Well, you will see. Let's just roll through the spine a couple of times just to make sure that our lower back is feeling good. Arms stay heavy on the floor. Peel your back off the floor, push your feet into the floor and then just lower your hips down one vertebrae at a time. Let's do two more. And this is your last one, pressing your feet down evenly. Before we actually go into the inner thigh movement for your bridge, we're just going to lift our hips up. Press our feet evenly down, squeeze the glutes, drive the hips to the ceiling, keep your abs engaged, tailbone touches the floor and then you lift straight back up again. If for any reason when we do the next exercise, the variation, it doesn't feel good for you on your knees, hips, come back to this movement. Let's do three, two, and one. Bring your left heel closer towards you and in the middle of your hips. Bring your right heel in front of the left toes. We're actually, we've got our feet stacked. We want to squeeze our inner thighs together, engage your abs, keep your hips level. We're going to press our feet down, keep squeezing your inner thighs, drive your hips to the ceiling. Good. Tighten your inner thighs. Let's go for nine, eight, seven, six. Lift high if you can. You will lift your hips high if you can. Remember, squeeze your inner thighs together. Two more. A last one. Just as a little bit of a bonus, lift your hips up. We're going to squeeze the inner thighs and drive the hips up. So tighter, higher, tighter, higher. Let's do... Nine, eight, tighter, higher, tighter, higher, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, well done. Swap the feet around. That is a bit more work in your inner thighs, isn't it? Toe, toes are touching your heel. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Squeeze the glutes and lift up. So we remember we squeeze the inner thighs together. We drive the hips up to the ceiling. Let's go for nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep squeezing your inner thighs together. We have to make them work here. Two more and one. Let's go for the pulses. Squeeze your inner thighs, lift the hips. Tighter, higher, tighter, higher. Let's do nine, eight. Tighter, higher, tighter, higher. You've got five and four and three, two, one. <laughs> Did you feel your inner thighs? <laughs> I'm feeling mine. Bring your knees in towards your chest. I just want you to release your lower back. And while we're here, let's just do some circles with our legs. Imagine you're drawing a circle with your knee joints on the ceiling and reverse. Roll yourself up or sit up. However, <laughs> we're just going to do another stretch for our inner thighs and we've got one more bit of a back flow part, a back flow segment. I don't know how, what I should say. Black back flow exercise is coming up next. Oh, I feel like I'm on TV now. <laughs> Which it will be quite nice and you'll still feel your inner thighs. <laughs> Breathe in. Stretch your back, breathing out, bring your chest towards the floor. Walk yourself to the side. What we want to do is bring the arm across your body and press this hip down. Now, if you want a little bit more, you can actually lift the hip off the floor. Otherwise, just leave them on the floor. Keep the chest low. Let's go to the other side. Bring the arm across your body. And once again, if you want more, just lift the hips up. And coming back. Let's go into a child's pose. Push your hands away from you. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Walk your hands to one side. And as you do that, you push your hands away and you push this hip back. Let's go to the other side. Facing me, well, you don't have to, I'll face you. If this gets too much on your knees and especially the inside of your knee, just stop, please. I know you will, but I have to say it, it makes me feel good. I don't want you to irritate any existing injuries. So the first thing is we're going to come forward and we're just going to rock back. Just if you haven't done this with me before or if you haven't done this at all before, just do little ones to start with. If it feels good, bring your hips right back to the floor. And let's do one more. Now the next part of this is... I'm going to get you to bring one leg out to the side. This is where I want you to be cautious of your knee. We're going to just go into a three side bends to each side. So we're coming over. Stretch your, you feel your inner thigh stretch, bring your fingers towards the floor. Other side. And two more. And last one to each side. Good. 
Good. Bring your hands down to the floor. We're going to do those rock backs. Those rock backs again. So just do start small, just tiny ones. Rock your hips back. Come forward. If it doesn't cause you irritation in your hips or your groin or your lower back, bring your hips lower towards the floor. Let's do two more. How are you going? I know, I shouldn't ask that because you can't answer me unless you leave me a comment. The last one. Excellent. Just be gentle as you bend your knee and let's do that on the other side. And I know you're aware we're different on both sides, so you might not have felt stress in your knee on that side, but you may feel it on this side. Just sit with your legs out in front and do this, the side bends. Two more. And last one. Okay, bring your hands out in front. So we're rocking back. We just do small rock backs to start with, sussing out our joints. And then if it feels good, let's rock back a little bit further. When I say further, get your tailbone towards the floor. Last one. Great job, guys. Let's have a little bit of a play here. <laughs> See how we go. Bring the leg across and then just sit back. Oh, that was good. Was that stressful in your knees? Push ourselves up. Try that on the other side. Okay, just be gentle. Not bad, is it, you know, getting ourselves in these positions? And not getting ourselves in these positions. If you can't do it, it causes you stress. Hey, we're 60. We've got, we're all dealing with something. And sometimes day to day. How did you go today? I hope you enjoyed the workout. I hope you felt it. Now let's finish with three deep breaths. Breathing in. Now open up your chest. Bring your shoulders right back as you breathe out. Two more. And last one. And good work. Good job. See you soon. Bye.